All right, so vectors. The first part of this topic is basically forming, a, uh, forming the vector equation of the line. So let's say we have a line over here, right? And we have a fixed point on the line, right? So to form a line equation, we need a fixed point uh, on the line. So OA is basically the position vector of the fixed point on the line. The second thing that we need is the direction vector. So a direction vector over here will something look like this. Right? So a direction vector basically shows the direction of the line where the line is headed or where the line is moving towards. And uh, it's basically a vector parallel to the line. And any multiple of the direction vector added to my fixed point will give me any per random point on the line that's OR. So, to f so my equation is R equals to a fixed point plus lambda B. So lambda is basically my multiple multiplied by the direction vector. Um, a scalar multiple of the direction vector um, added to the fixed point will give me any point on on that line. So this is basically similar to Y R is basically y, A is C, and lambda over here is x, y. The direction vector is basically m. It's basically the gradient of my line of my of a line in the vector plane in the 3D plane. So let's do a uh, uh, a couple of examples to see how to write a line in a line in a vector form. So let's say I have. I have a fixed point on the line and the fixed point is something like uh, let's say 2 1 and 2 and I have a direction vector of the line and the direction vector is 3 minus 1 and 5 so if I have to write this line in, in the in a vector form this will look something like r equals to 2 1 and 2 plus lambda 3 minus 1 5 that's who that's when you're given um, the direction vector now let's say I've been told that a line passes through the points 2 1 and 3 and let's say three one and four right so now to form a line equation I need a fixed point I have two points on the line so I can take any either of these two points uh, as my a but I need a direction vector so a direction vector is basically parallel to the plane parallel to the line right so if I say that I have two points and I form a vector using these two points um, let's say I form the vector AC so AC is basically a parallel to the line and parallel with line, I can say that AC can be used as my direction vector for the line. So if I find AC, AC will be 3 minus 2, 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 4 minus 3, 1. So this becomes my direction vector. And now if I write the equation of the line, this will look like R equals to either of the two points. So I'm using OA, 2, 1, and 3, plus lambda, 1, 0, 1. So this becomes my vector equation of the line passing through the points OA and OC. Now, other alternatives could be that I could use the point OC as my fixed point. I could say 3, 1, 4 plus lambda 1, 0, 1. Um, I could change the signs of my direction vector. I can make this minus 1, 0, minus 1. So it won't make a difference because um, it, at the end it's going to be multiplied by a multiple and it's then, it, then it's going to be added to um, the fixed point. So that's the how to form a vector equation of the line. Now. Let's say the the fixed point is x naught, y naught, z naught, right? And the direction vector is always written as a, b, and c. And the random variable r is basically x, y, z. We, these are three unknowns. So if I write my line equation this will be like r equals to a 
plus lambda b which becomes x y z equals to x naught y naught z naught plus lambda a b c so this form is called vector equation so this is basically my vector equation of the line so the other way to write a line equation of the line is to write it in the parametric form so a parametric form over here will be x naught plus lambda a y naught plus lambda b and z naught plus lambda c where x naught y naught z naught are uh, x sorry x naught y naught z naught is my fixed point lambda is my multiple and a b c is my direction vector so this over here is the parametric form of a line the last way to um, the, the last way to the last uh, way to write a line equation is the Cartesian form and that's x minus x naught upon a equals to y minus y naught upon b equals to z minus z naught upon c this over here is the Cartesian form of a line equation so these are the three ways to write your line equation and um, we use, uh, and if you have to find a random variable point on the line you basically um, take scalar multiple of the direction vector add it to your fixed point and you get um, the point you need and these are the basics and then we'll move towards all the concepts of how to solve questions um, that appear in the paper